just cut the yard. Oh, I wanted to show you this. By the way, hey guys, Rick here with Turf Time. And we got a kind of a mixture video. This is the update of the area that I had reseeded uh, because I just did not like the way it filled out. So let me get from this angle over here. And here is the before. I'll throw it right here somewhere. All right. And it is filling in pretty nicely. So actually I triple seeded this. I didn't want to take no chances of nothing not coming up anywhere <laughs> so it's coming up very good and then i got these little areas uh right in here that uh it is coming up as well and then my little hill strip which is actually just the edge of my driveway uh they're starting to fill in pretty nicely again as well so uh at this moment we are going to lay another product. So here's what I'm going to be putting down. This is a carbon-based product. It's from Precision Organics called C20. Soil amendment for uh, trees, shrubs, and turf. Anyway, I'll be using it strictly for turf. Uh, so the application rate is for seasonal maintenance, which is what I will be doing because I already have some other carbon products down it was five to ten pounds per thousand and for rejuvenation you run in ten to twenty pounds per thousand anyway the stuff is organic so no chance of burning the lawn uh, but what it is doing is adding carbon back into the soil and carbon uh, helps maintain a healthy microbial activity under the soil so that's what we're going to be doing down here. I'm going to be putting 40 pounds over 6,500 square feet. So that will come out to be just about four, six, 12, uh, 13 per acre. So not acre, per thousand. Let's see what this stuff looks like. What in the world is it? That actually goes through a spreader? This stuff looks like bees. Wow. All right, what is in this? Uh, grain byproducts include soybean. Oops, there it is. Soybean hulls, wheat, middlings, corn cob, vines, and rice hulls, and a binding agent. Oh boy. Well, that's about as organic as you can get. <laughs> the stuff, yeah, it smells like rice holes and corn and the grain, all that good stuff. So evidently it's going to break down pretty nicely. So let's go lay this and we'll see what happens as far as with carbon and soil amendments. All right, here we go. Got a little bit left over here. I think I will go and toss some of this on up in my coleus bed. So, have a little for you.
and we'll go ahead and go that right there. Oh, oh the banana tree, uh, banana plant. How about a little for you? How about that? Can of musifolia. How about a little for you? All right, everybody getting some carbon C20. <laughs> All right, guys, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Later. We got a little bit of rain last night. And, oh, uh, man, I had no idea what I was actually dealing with. But this stuff is breaking down very nicely. And I'm assuming it just washes on down or gets absorbed into the soil. And that's where the microbes can actually get get to work on it. So from my understanding, this is a complex carbohydrate. So whereas you put simple carbs on your uh, soil, that can be consumed in a matter of hours or days, whereas this stuff supposedly lasts months. I never knew. Very cool. I like it.